taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Zen um, and the burning of Zen or the minting. Sorry, the minting of Zen. Okay, guys. So, mints seem to have slowed down. Um, and that is down to the fact that gas fees are super high. There's a tweet from Jack Levin um, saying that mints have stopped altogether. All right, guys, which makes it bullish for the price of Zen. Um, if you saw my previous video, right, I talked about the fact that Zen was in this falling wedge and that we were potentially going to get a breakout but I was touching the bottom of this wedge I said I still I still believe that we're going to get a breakout of this wedge and um, lo and behold um, I think it was less than 24 hours late we got a broke out of this wedge since I did my previous video and now it is finding some ground outside of this area uh, I said it could break out come all the way up and then pull all the way back down <coughs> It could break out and come back down. I still think there's more upside to this move. And uh, normally the target of a breakout of a falling wedge is the top of the wedge. Okay. But um it doesn't always reach the top. Sometimes it can just go halfway. Or it could just be it could just end here and then come back down. But we did get a retest and then a bounce. So people are trading this uh, with that mindset that we could potentially go up. So that has to be noted. Um but um <clears throat> I've been uh, not feeling too well the past couple of days. I've got a very <clears throat> bad foot and a bad cough uh, so do excuse me but um yeah it does look like we are finding some ground outside of this area so the chart looks good in my opinion it's not just dropping to the wayside we're getting bounces at key support areas so um yeah that is it definitely a good sign for the chart <clears throat> we can begin to see uh <coughs> or put in a little bit more ta on zen excuse me guys excuse me <clears throat> my throat is not uh, amazing at the moment Okay, so um, uh, again, this could come down. If this is uh, the worst case scenario, in my opinion, right now, is it comes back down and it puts in a double bottom and then we start to move up again. That could be a potential scenario. But um, again, uh, again, I'm not too worried about the price of Zen. I'm more interested in the long-term potential, but in the short-term, okay, and the immediate term, you know, people have been leaving a lot of comments about the price. And uh, I think there's a lot of new people that are coming into the space, new people that are coming into something like Zen uh, because everyone's talking about it and they're just expecting this to go straight to the moon. OK, uh, the pathway to the moon is not a straight line. Every chart that you go on is going to see up and down, up and down, up and down. <clears throat> An example that I gave in the previous video is Hex. When Hex, Hex went 10,000 X and Hex pulled back 85 percent. Uh, a bunch of times okay guys so we're going to look at that chart and you know when you first come on the chart it's going to look small like this if you go to the hex chart and you go all the way back to the beginning you'll see there was a lot of volatility and a lot of this kind of action okay guys there's no reason in my opinion why we can't see some bullish uh, a bullish long-term price on this particular project okay guys the market cap is a baby it's a baby 42.7 million right let's just get zen up on coin market cap Zen coin, uh, coin market cap. Let's just get it up, okay? Uh, Forty-five point uh, two million, and I, I can never understand why the fully diluted says eighteen. Okay, it's probably to do with mints, and you know, there's a lot of the supply is being burned. I'm not sure, um, you know, uh, I'm not sure about that. But um, you know, you see the max supply, right? Uh, there is no max supply, okay? Because this is inflationary at the moment, right? But um, the total supply, you'll see that will change, that will chop and change as and when necessary. Okay, guys, as long as it's being, it's being updated in real time. But um, we're going to see more Zen being burnt. We've got more projects coming. Zen Doge is probably the most anticipated project on the Zen uh, network at the moment. So Zen Doge. Okay, I do intend to get into this. I do intend to burn some Zen and um, get into this project because it is meme coin season. And we just don't know what it could do it could just do something absolutely crazy okay guys uh, and um <clears throat> really i think i think that zen doge is going to be able to leverage the zen community into this project it's different where things like pepe and things like uh you know a world jack for example another uh, another few coins that i've been talking about on the channel they have communities they have very large communities right and that's why they do so well 
Now, if you create a meme coin or a new token and you can leverage the community that you have already into, for example, if Pepe were to create a second coin and say, hey, guys, this is second coin in the ecosystem, they could bring that whole community into that project, which almost guarantees the success, uh, at least in the short term, of the new project. So with Zen Doge, right, with so much support coming from Zen and the Zen community, um, I just believe that this is going to fly. It's just my opinion. Uh, it's not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Okay, guys. But yeah, I mean, is this bullish for Zen? The fact that mints have stopped because gas is so high. I think it's bullish. And um, the reason being is it just forces people to, if you want Zen, you're just going to have to buy Zen. Okay, it's not going to last forever. Mints will start coming back again once gas fees go down. And it's things like the meme coins and Pepe and things like that that are, are actually causing the gas to skyrocket. Okay, guys, that being said, when meme coin season dies down, I think that gas is going to die down. The gas prices are going to come back down. People will begin to start minting again. Me personally, I don't. Uh, I've already got some mints on Ethereum. I'm minting mostly on other blockchains like Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche and things like that. I've got a bunch of Zen NFTs that are being accumulating uh, because I want to position myself for the, you know, the long-term potential of this project. So doing max mints. Um, sometimes I'm doing like shorter mints on the other blockchains because the gas fees are not too hefty, like $6 on Avalanche, for example. But uh, on Binance Smart Chain, they are a little bit more expensive. I have my targets and once I hit my targets, I'm no longer going to be minting NFTs because it's not guaranteed and I'm most bullish on the Ethereum chain as well. So the profits that I make, if any, on those other chains, I'm looking to roll them over into Ethereum anyway. Uh, or I may not even need to later on down the line anyway. You know, we're looking like a year and a half away before I, before any of those start coming into maturity. All right, guys. So I just wanted to make a quick update on Zen. Uh, the price has been moving and, um, you know, I don't think this is anything to worry about. In fact, this to me is more bullish, which we're starting, we're beginning to uh, uh, develop some chart structure. More people are going to start doing technical analysis on it. And, um, you know, this to me, in my opinion, it just looks like a very beautiful chart. Uh, it's just my opinion. Again, not financial advice. Do your own research. That is the end of this video. Links are in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Tip the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.